how are we doing guys welcome back to another film right we're up in the islands of scotland now on the way up here we stayed over and had a night in Kielder forest now i didn't manage to get any photography done because the bugs were a nightmare it just made it so difficult so i had a bit of a mooch around there were tons of fungi about so it, you know kind of got me thinking i knew where we were where we were heading for and I know there's a lot of birch around here, so birch kind of goes hand in hand with fly agaric. Now look at the size of this thing. It must be oh, it must be 10 inch across. Obviously past its best this one, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a bit of a mooch around. We're gonna see if we can find a real nice one of these. Now I have never ever found a pristine one, you know that absolutely iconic furry tail fly agaric that's in pristine condition whether we're going to find any i don't know but the signs are, are pretty good there's there's tons of birch and uh, you know there's there's a lot of these a lot that are past the best but let's go and have a mooch around see if we can find one and see if we can get some decent photos stick with us So keep on looking. Right, well, that didn't take too much searching. We found an absolute beauty just down here. Look at that one there. There's a few more here. You can see it. But they've kind of they've kind of passed the sell by date to be honest. And that one is a little gem. It's not the biggest in the world. It's just, I mean, look at these here. You've got a few, a few more here. But they've started to curl up a bit. And this one is absolutely pristine. So we're going to get the air macro lens out and see what we can do with this one. I'm well chuffed with that. There's a crack. Oh, midges are out. Should have brought my midge net. Right, let's get cracking. Well, there are fungi everywhere. I mean, look at these little bracket fungus on here. Beautiful. Light's a bit harsh on these, but I found I found loads of fly agaric. I found an absolute beauty before, and I try as I might to photograph it, the midges, they were going mental. They were absolutely eating me alive. So <laughs> I got, got a few shots. I'll, uh, I'll put them on now. And you know, I think they were all right, but I couldn't, I couldn't film me taking the pictures of it, if you know what I mean, because it was just it was a bit of a comedy. So we're gonna have a, 
Um, I found some nice ones down here, so we're going to have a wander down there now. But I can, you know, when I when I first started doing this wildlife photography, you know, I, I knew a few people that were into photographing fungi, and I thought, I don't know, I thought it were a bit geeky, really. But I can see the attraction of it because it, it's a bit like treasure hunting, and when you find an absolute perfect specimen, it's brilliant, and you can you can kind of slow everything down as well. You know, it's it's not as not frenetic, but with you know when you're shooting animals and birds, it's it's dynamic, and you know you you're kind of on the hoof, if you will. You know, situations are changing, but with this game, you can just slow everything down. You can you know sort your own lighting out. You can just take your time, chill out, get set up proper, and yeah, I can I, I really can see the attraction of it. So I might get into it. You never know. But uh, yeah, let's we'll go down here. Hopefully, there's, there'll be a bit of a breeze down by the uh, by, by the lake, and it'll see these pesky midges off. So come on, let's go and have a wander down there. Right. So we found one. I don't know whether it's past its best or not, but. It's just starting to curl up like that. Now I don't know whether I don't know, I don't I don't really know a lot about fungi to be honest. I don't know anything about these. But I don't know when they're you know when they're getting a bit older, whether they they turn up like that and you know some have a, a rounded dome on them, but yeah we're gonna have a do it photographing this, at least there's no midges, which is a godsend. So yeah, it's a Bobby Dazzle that one. I like it. So what all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the, the macro on and I'm going to shoot it in, in portrait mode which what I'm, I think what I'm going to have to do I'm not going to be able to shoot it in portrait I'm going to have to crop it after because um, I could do it with one of them L brackets really you know where you can you can mount the, the camera on its side so we'll shoot it in landscape and then we'll crop it after but I might you know I'll probably just move a move a bit of grass around here so that it's not Leave all that at the back, but just try and just try and pick a few bits out, blow any stuff off it. We'll make it look right, aren't we? I think that'll do. Yeah, right, come on. Get the camera out. Get it done. Light's just nice actually, the light's just dropped a little bit, so it's not too harsh. So We've got the uh, Takina. I've not really used this much since I got it, to be honest. I haven't done a lot of macro photography. So, I'll see what it can do. Probably the best thing, before we even, you know, set the tripod up. Just, just do a few few testers and then you can kind of oh these flies they're on me already yeah probably about this kind of distance so you know about four four and a half foot I mean, to be honest, the light's all right, so I think what I'll do, I'll probably just take a few handheld for now. Alter that. Got a decent depth of field on it. So we'll go F, F16. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to tripod it because it's, it's only given us tenth of a second that, which is no good. Right. 